Nike had built this big promo. It was the Muppets, LeBron, and Kobe. Yeah. You ruined it. I ain't ruined you it. You did ruin it. I got my own puppet right at home right now. <laughs> my dog done messed it up, but I still got a puppet at the house. And I'm glad I ruined it because that one ain't right. They pissed our whole team off. And I'm glad we went out there and we showed LeBron and the Cavs that, hell no, nah, the puppet got to go. <laughs> For real. Because I'm like, how y'all going to have a whole Nike commercial about LeBron and Kobe in the finals? And they ain't even in the finals yet. And we took so much. We took that. Y'all took that personal, huh? Did we? We wanted to destroy LeBron in the, in the Cavs because of that. I couldn't wait to see Anderson Barrage. I wanted to rip his hair off. I wanted to kill Il, 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 Il Gowskis, yeah. whatever his name was. You dropped 40 and 14 in the, uh, 40 was, and 14 the game. I'm telling you, I could not wait to get on the floor with them. I tried to break the goal in Cleveland. That's why the shot clock came down. I wanted to. Was Ben Wallace on that team that year? I think he might have been. Yeah. I, Every big man they had, because they want, I said, I'm going to get my own puppet. I brought my own puppet to our gym, and I had my own puppet at practice. I don't want to do us like that. That was, I, I was, I was kind of looking forward to it. That was disrespectful. And looking you wanted to see that? Yeah, I did. That's messed up. You from Georgia, and you wanted to see two people that ain't even close to Georgia play in the finals. When you I want to see, I mean, you, sometimes you want to see, I mean, can you imagine Kobe not seeing and Bird and Magic? Can you imagine not seeing Federer and the dog? I mean, some things you just got to see. Dwight and Kobe. That's, that's, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? That's pay per view. That's pay per view. You know how many people <laughs> wanted to watch me and Kobe scrap? <laughs> man, y'all went. You went out there, man. Y'all got. Well, that's only because I'm gonna give you. Let me tell you what happened. What happened? Kobe Bryant. Lamar Odom, yeah, Derek Fisher, right. Pal Gasol, and Andrew Bynum, and Phil Jackson. They had experience that we didn't have. They right. knew what it took. They knew, they knew what to do at all the right moments in the game. And for us, I felt like at that time, we were so young and inexperienced that we didn't know how to handle the moment. Right. Because, mind you, it's the finals. You got this big, the big uh, trophy on the court. Yeah, yeah. Big air trophy. You yep. got all these fans. We the only team playing in the world besides the Lakers. So it's like, this all new for us. Right. They knew how to handle that whole situation. We had just got up in it. So for us, we all excited. And then I think a couple plays kept us out from winning. That layup with Courtney Lee. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Al Gasol goaltended. If you go back and look, I think he goaltended it. Right. That play right there cost us, might have cost us a series. I believe we would have won that game. We would have won the series. Because that was game one, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or game two? Game two, I think. Game two. But you know what? Kobe, Kobe and them did it, man. Derek Fisher hit that three to put the dagger in. But, man, after that game, I sat down and watched him celebrate. And I was like, man, if I get back to the finals, I'm, we're not losing. I'm going to make sure I do whatever I can to where our team is no doubt that we're going to win. Right. I had Lamar Odom on my podcast, and he said he knew they would beat you guys when he saw you joking in the court. Do you think people took your personality because you, you, you are a fun-loving, you're an outgoing guy, and took your personality and held that against you? Yeah. Because you're the same guy that was joking up and down the court when you won three defensive players of the year. So it don't make no sense, but I, but I get it. That's Again, like I said, just these older guys and the perception that they've had, people's perception can, can become every everyone's reality. Right. So they see that I'm laughing, having a good time, and in their mind they're probably thinking, he ain't really focused He's on basketball. Serious. He thinking about everything else. But – in turn, when I'm training and practicing, that's when I'm not laughing and, and smiling because I'm really locked in on getting better. The court, when I'm out there in front of the fans, that's the show time. That's when I'm out there at my greatest. I'm having a good time. I'm going to dunk, block shots, and, and have a good time. Right. Why am I out there mad like I'm an MMA fighter? Right. That's not who I am. I can't go out there and be that way. And I'm and it's crazy that I've had to, and I still have to express that to people like, what? I I that's this is just who I am.
Do you think you're a good leader? Do I think I'm a good leader? Yes. I think I'm a better leader uh, now than I've been in the past. I think that there's some things that I could have worked on, but I also think that I, um, at those times, I didn't have the proper guidance to be right. able to lead. Um, but I think I'm a, I'm a good leader. Did you ever have problems connecting with your teammates? Did you ever have problems with your teammates? Uh, I don't think I really had a lot of problems with my teammates. Um, like people said that I did. Right. I know in Orlando, uh, we were very close knit in Houston. The same thing. We was very close knit. Um, well then why y'all close knit? Why do you and James Harden fall out? Did y'all fall out? I don't think me and James was close. Okay. Uh, and I don't know what happened. Uh, Cause you want to go went, there because you like, went, man, pick and roll. Me and James Harden in the pick and roll. He a bucket getter, pick and roll, goes double down to me. I'm I've been trying to figure that out too since I left uh, Houston. Why is he acting like this? Because I left LA to, come to play go with play with him. So it wasn't like. So I, how soon did you notice a shift or a change in his attitude towards you? I would kind of say like in our second season together. And I was just like, dang, like, I feel like we competing against each other when we should be competing. Did you talk? Did you have a conversation with him? I didn't. And that's what that was. That was my fault. That was my fault. And I actually, I had a conversation, but it was kind of too late. And I, I could have been, uh, I could have been better at talking to him. Mm -hmm. But I chose to go around him. And we talk to other people, which now the message coming from other people. Yeah, it's going to get lost in translation. So, so I, I could have been better at that, for one, as being an older guy right. and knowing better. Right. And two, just if really wanting to win, really squashing that better. You know what I'm saying? But right. I didn't know how to at the time because... I didn't really know how to talk to him like that. Right. When it seemed like it had gotten to that point where when we first got there, it was cool. But then after, you know, it got to that point, it's just like, dang, how do we, are we not even, we're not even talking no more. Like, we decided to come down here together. Like, right. I wanted to come see us win championships and us grow, but, you know, it didn't happen that way. So I'll put that on me. Right. I'll put that part on me. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.